Now, it was the subject of one of Ellis Lowry's paintings, but over the last 25 years, it's been left to decay. Now, campaigners say they have just 74 days to save the Ancoats dispensary building in East Manchester from being demolished. Mark Edwardson reports. It's one of the oldest examples of Victorian neo-Gothic architecture, but for the last quarter of a century, the Ancoats dispensary has been allowed to crumble, inside and out. But a group of residents say they're determined to save it. For the past three years, they've kept a vigil on its doorstep. I've been out here now for two and a half years. Unfortunately, I didn't think I'd be here for another winter. I thought we'd have got further than this, but we're still here. Everybody around this area has used Ancoats Hospital at one time or another, and we really need to save it. Ancoats was the cradle of the Industrial Revolution. Manchester's first cotton mill was built here in 1780. Conditions were appalling and injuries common. The life expectancy of a labourer was just 17 years old. The dispensary was where the workers, too poor to pay for doctors, came for medical attention. It was even the subject of a Lowry painting. To anybody going past on a bus, going to, to and from work, all they see is a derelict building covered by scaffolding. It's much more than a building as well. It's not just the building, it's about what has happened to this community over the last 50 years. The Heritage Lottery Fund says the Trust can have £771,000, enough to make it structurally safe. But to unlock the money, campaigners need to raise £55,000 before the end of February. It's a huge task. Go on our website and see what this building looked like in the past and what we can make it look like again. If the Trust can raise their share, the Heritage Lottery Fund has promised a further £4.5 million to restore this building. Mark Edwardson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Ancoats.